Okay, my camera just does not want to work with me today, right? So let me try to do that. Hey guys, and welcome back to my new video. And that's gonna be about how to survive this crazy lockdown. <laughs> Here we go again. Right now is um, almost 7 p.m. and I just decided to make this video because I was manifesting today a lot and I was crazy. I have to say, I was crazy. The stuff I did, it was really crazy. But then I realized that it actually made me so happy and it kept me engaged. And I always try to find ways how to deal with stuff uh, so I can no longer uh, suffer or be stressed because I always want to be happy or I'm trying to be happy as much as I can and yeah, just always find my ways to feel like that and uh, today was the perfect example so I decided to do how to survive lockdown with my tips for you I want to make it more fun, so take it easy and enjoy it first thing first kids don't believe them it's not true <coughs> that's because of that cool child well you might be quite scared right now like Jane what do you want us to do are you crazy when I first started with having cold showers um, I was more suffering than feeling relaxed afterwards but but it's really worth it if you feel stressed, if you feel tired, if you just feel like weird, always take a cold shower and, it, and it, then you feel like so fresh and everything is new. You feel just, yeah, really cold, uh, relaxed and it's just a new beginning. If you create a habit with cold showers, um, trust me, you won't be able to imagine life without this. Second thing, manifestation. I'm a lot into manifestation and if you don't know, in case, if you don't know what it is... Well, manifestation really works for me and it's basically because I'm the type of person that, uh, that likes to visualize stuff and like usually I visualize everything. I'm just thinking about something and I always visualize like pictures and I'm now currently reading a book this one and there was a part about acting like you already have the thing you want so I did it I did it Thank you, my family. Um, I'm sorry. I'm getting quite emotional, but... I think I still have time for winning an Oscar because my boobs are too small for this dress. Guys, not gonna lie, this was the best thing ever because I felt so happy after that. Uh, I just put all my, all my focus into this moment and I really visualized that moment and also it's just... You know, I, I forgot everything and yeah, I felt really crazy, like, what am I doing? So give it a try, you can be as crazy as me or just lie on a couch, um, put your headphones and listen to your favorite music and visualize what you want in the future 
and really feel that moment feel it and realize you are actually right now in that moment what you smell what you see what you feel and just be in that moment and, and try to make it feel like it's already with you that it is your present Movies, of course, nothing new, but since I'm a film student, because we hear about bad news all day long, I decided to choose movies that are happy or they make you feel good. Eat, Pray, Love, I watched it on Netflix and I kind of just found that movie and I read that it's also about meditation, so that's why I decided to watch that movie and I have to say I kind of enjoyed it. And it just gives you a good feeling, so give it a try. Second movie, and that's quite a different genre, it's musical, and I would definitely recommend you Mary Poppins. But not the new one, the old one, the first Mary Poppins, the original Mary Poppins. Um, it's so good. You just feel like you can dream again, so if you haven't seen Mary Poppins, just go and watch it. And the third movie I would recommend is actually a documentary and I had to watch that for my university and it might not be for everybody and I have to say I was also that kind of person that just uh, read about that documentary and I was like <laughs> what? This documentary follows eight teens and preteens as they work their way toward the finest of the Scripps Howard National Spelling Bee Championship in Washington uh, that's a spelling competition in the United States and um, yeah, but this movie is not about spelling competition, it's about lives, it's about different type of lives and how those kids feel, what they have to go through about their families and you have a look inside their lives. You just choose a kid that you want that kid to be the winner and yeah, just give it a try because I really did enjoy it. And the last thing I'm going to recommend you from my own experience is to try something new or to learn something new. What I'm currently doing is that I started learning Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of similar to Spanish and I had Spanish in high school. But I have to say the pronunciation, oh wow, that's so hard. I have friends from Portugal in London, so that's one thing why I decided to learn that. And also, I just want to speak as many languages as I can, so yeah. So if there's anything you always wanted to try or to learn, I think now is the best time. I mean like, you know, lockdown, you still have time to make it. <laughs> so that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that I gave you some tips for your lockdown life. Okay, so bye!